It's Billy's that time! Yay! Big Newton! Well, hold on a minute, sonny boy. I bet you don't know the first thing about Newtons. Yes, I do! They're delicious! I'm afraid not, Billy. They're quite... crystal. Mommy, you have this professor in my house! Allow me to take you through the three Newton's laws of motion. Okay, Billy. Okay, Professor. Exploring Science presents Newton's Three Laws. Law number one. Every object in a state of uniform motion tends to remain in that state of motion unless an external force is applied to it. What? Now let me explain that in simple words, for simple minds. Allow me to see that ball, Billy. No, it's my ball! My ball! Do you want me to demonstrate the first law of motion? No! Well, too bad. Shut up, Billy. Shut up. a good boy. Now, the first law of motion explains that, for example, if this ball is at rest, it won't move until another force acts upon it, such as you kicking it. Very good, Billy. Also, if the ball is moving, it won't stop until a force acts upon it. Such as that other ball over there. Do you want to stand now, Billy? Yes, Professor! Hmm. Mommy, he's pushing me! But Billy, I'm just trying to demonstrate to you the second law of motion. What is that, Professor? Well, you see, when I push you lightly, you barely go anywhere. Uh-huh. But if I add more force to you... Ah, Mommy! The farther you go, the faster you accelerate, which makes you fall. I need a baby! Allow me to demonstrate Newton's third law with these nice new roller skates I want you. When I push you, we both move. <laughs> I said I can move. We're supposed to move. See? There you go. I hope you like your new roller skates, Billy. My treat. Of course, Professor. Well, Billy, those are the three Newton's laws of motion. Did you have fun today? No. Well, did you learn anything today? No. Can I have my big Newton now? No, but you can have a lemon. Okay. You didn't let me explain. You can have a lemon because lifting a small lemon is equal to about one Newton. Okay, Professor. Good boy, Billy. Billy! Was there a professor in this house talking to you about Isaac Newton's three laws of motion? Well, today my mom got a demented haircut that looks like Christine's haircut from fifth grade and is really puffy and I think like a bird can like a nest in it. You know, it's not a good thing when you get an electrical cord laid on your lap. And you know what? I do plenty of work in this house, so shut up! Did anyone ever tell you they should always eat green eggs and ham as part of a square meal every day? Part of a square meal, square deal, fair deal. Follow Jim Corbett, peace out.